And look at the bat. Some people think the bat also defies Darwin's theory of evolution. But, well, if you take a look at the bone structure of bats and bat wings, what does that tell us? Well, when we look at bat wings, uh, what we see there is the evolution of uh, of anatomy. We see the basic form of anatomy that we see in our own forelimb. If we look at our arm, we have the humerus, which is a single bone going between the shoulder and the elbow, and then there are two bones, uh, the radius and the ulna, that go between the elbow and the wrist, and then within the wrist are a ser series of, of very small bones and then five radiating digits. And we see exactly the same pattern in a, in a bat's wing, but those digits are very elongated compared to ours and have the membrane between them to give the bat uh, the bat its, its wing that allows it to fly. And so the basic idea there is what we would call a, uh, a basic underlying structure with substantial divergence of the body parts to uh, favor a particular function. The horse's leg is another example of that. That's a single digit. Uh, the front leg corresponds to our, uh, uh, to our front limb with the horse's hoof corresponding to the finger nail, made of the same substance. And so here we have two organisms as diverse as a bat and a horse, and yet the same basic underlying anatomical structure that we see there, which then points to, is evidence pointing to uh, uh, origin and common ancestry.